So I'm going to look today at one of the common, common problems from updating from Vault Basic to Vault Workgroup and Vault Professional and that is to do with revision tables on your current drawings. So you can see here I've got a current revision table. I can go ahead and create a new revision row, uh, filling in whatever information are required. Uh, revision C is going to be current, so I'm going to put that in. I can then go and check this file into Vault. In it goes. And when I look at Vault, we can see our drawing here. And if I just turn on my properties for it, let's just show Rev number. We can see that showing revision C. If I want to make a new revision, all I do is check that out, add a new revision row and put it back in. With Vault Workgroup and Vault Professional, the system is going to be controlling the revision um, based on the state. So what I would do is I would go to my Vault settings, I would map revision into uh, the file so that it controlled the, the revision in the file whenever it changes on the system it will change in the document so let's just map that in this rev number hit OK and close what generally happens is that we go through and we change the category and we go from whatever we want to. So in this case I'm going to engineering drawing, although I can tell it to apply based on the rules within my design. When I hit OK, that goes to revision A. Now that's going to completely wipe my table and put it back to revision A. I can, if I want to, change the revision. And I can map that revision to a existing property in Vault. So in this case the checked in revision number from the system. And you can see it's going to make that revision C. Greater here you cry. My drawing is at revision C and therefore um, my revision table is at revision C. The problem comes that revision A and B do not exist on the system because the system is starting at revision C. If I go to Inventor and I open up the um, revision table just update the properties. What you'll see is it wipes out that revision. So what I have developed is that, let me just undo the property update from Vault. What I've developed is an iLogic rule that when we run it we'll create a duplicate revision table in the corner so that when we start using the new system Although this table gets wiped, that information is stored elsewhere on the document separately, so we aren't losing the revision history from the drawing. If I check this into Vault, and I make some changes to this, so let's put this to Review, let's put this to Released, and then I'm going to put this back to Work in Progress, so that I'm on Revision D. I'm going to go to Inventor, I'm going to open up my drawing and update my table. Oops, got it checked out to the uh, wrong user. It's currently checked out on the job processor. You can see the job processor is just trying to update that revision table in the background. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Right, now the job process is finished, let's try open that again from Vault. Sorry about that. So I'm going to open this up, update the properties, and you can see it's added revision row D in. That existing table isn't changed. It should still shows the historic versions A, B, and C, and we've got revision C duplicated on both tables so that we can see 
um, when the transfer occurred. So that's great. We can take our um, file uh, and we can capture that revision. And for most companies, that's what they want to be able to do in Vault on the basis that we can't have revision rows in that revision table that haven't been generated in the Vault system. So how do we deal with that in cases where we have multiple files? Well, to do that, I'm going to use the task scheduler inside uh, Windows here. So we will go to Autodesk, Event 2015, Tools and Task Scheduler. So in order to manage this for multiple files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out all my drawings from Vault. Pick my designs, I'm going to pick all my drawings, run that immediately. That's going to go through and check out everything from Vault. And I have created a task that I can run that basically is going to run an iLogic rule in each of those files. Now in this case it's duplicating the revision table but it could be doing anything else that we want to. We're going to run the task just to inject the code into each of those drawings. Uh, to do this I'll need Inventor open so it needs to be run on a machine with Inventor. Um, that should take a couple of seconds to do and you can see it's churning away now in the background. So we'll just give that uh, a little bit of time. Go to Inventor and open up one of those files. I should see that it's copied that revision table directly. If I open up another file, we can see that that revision table has also been copied. So the final job to do is to create a, another uh, task that will check in all those drawings from my workspace. So I'm going to select my drawings and immediately check those in to Vault. And that should go through and check all those in for me. So we've checked all the files out of Vault. We've put the um, rev tables, uh, a duplicate rev table on them using the iLogic code and we check them all back in. At that point we're ready to convert everything to the Vault system. So what I can do is whilst it was, uh, once it's finished checking in, I'll be able to go to my properties, enable my mapping, select all my drawings and uh, change the category or use Vault Ruler uh, from Cool Orange to be able to, to put the, the correct category and revision onto each file within the system. Um, by doing that we should then have a vault that is ready to use vault revisions completely. For more information please contact Symmetry on the details shown.